What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you are new here, please make sure you go ahead, slap that like button because we all know it helps support the channel. Also, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell because as you know, I don't have a post schedule. I only post when I feel cute, both on my main variety channel and here on the coaching channel. We only post when we feel cute. So today we have a very special guest. I am so excited because this channel is so much about following our dreams, going for our content creator goals, slaying them. This person, this artist, this YouTuber has done this above and beyond. I feel like part of me would not be doing what I'm doing if it was not for his guidance. He doesn't even know that he's guided me in any way, but his music, his YouTube, his everything that he's done has been entirely inspirational. I'm so proud of him. Today we have YouTuber, singer, songwriter, Adam Wright, how are you? <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never been that hyped up in any intro <laughs> ever. So thank you so much. I also related so much to that um, only post when we feel cute. Not necessarily when we feel cute, but I could never, never stay to a post schedule. So I relate to that 100%. That is my nice little way of making sure I don't put pressure on myself in this, yeah. on these YouTube streets, because we all know mental health matters. So before I go crazy, yeah <laughs> yeah that literally not having a post schedule is the only way that this stays a hobby and not drives me crazy <laughs> exactly it's it's funny because you are so high you are almost at a million subscribers which oh. is insane like i'm rounding up that's what I, I that's what i do for myself round it up by a bit but <laughs> <laughs> you are on your way there though and that is crazy because so much of this channel and what i do over here is getting people hyped up and getting them like letting, making sure they know that this is possible and just to celebrate every milestone and really, really go for their dreams. So, wow, like congratulations on being like up at the top tier. I'm on my journey to 100K and I couldn't imagine like being where you're at. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, it's been uh, seven years in the making. So it's been a trip. <laughs> wow, it, I love the journey and I have been here for so much of it. And one of my most amazing like starter questions, I have to know, like, did you know you were going to always get into music when you started your channel, when you started the mashups, like where you're at right now, was that always the goal, like low key or? I didn't really, I don't know if I had a goal, honestly. <laughs> I was just kind of, I was inspired by, you know, a lot of people who were posting because I still officially started at the end of 2014 and that's when I was like yeah I'm gonna start posting okay. and um I don't know I was just kind of inspired by some other um creators who were making mashups online I'm like that's fun let me do it I want to try it out and then I just kept doing it and then there was one mix that just kind of blew up and I was like oh okay now I gotta kind of ride this wave now yeah, that I have yeah. this and here we are I don't it was like blink and I don't know how it happened. <laughs> well, I hear that a lot, like with YouTubers, like there's always that one video and even on my, my main variety channel, like I, the same thing, had that one video that helped give me like that good boost. But for you, like it literally feels like you were made and created and meant for YouTube for mashups. Like you're like the king of mashups when it comes to what's out Thank you. there. Like, <laughs> Thank you, you know, very much. Yeah, and I'm not like, I know you keep saying I'm like blowing your head up, but I've seen what's out there, I mean, it's just amazing, like your key and the way, and anyone who's not subscribed or not aware of his channel, definitely check it out because all of his original content plus the mashup content is over there. And it's just, it's spellbinding. Like you actually have the most amazing ear for music to match it up with the visuals. Everything is always like an adventure. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Adventure is literally the goal. I was like, especially with, you know, my like whole year end wrap up ones. I'm like, I want an adventure. I want an experience. I want you to feel every emotion possible. <laughs> I want this yeah. to, you know, take you somewhere. You sit, you do that like a hundred percent. I love it. I always, I'm like always dancing. Like I'm a drag queen and a YouTuber. So I do both worlds and you're like the most feminine, like hyper ones always get me so hyped. Like when you push all the girls in one, I'm like, oh, how did he do yeah. this? Like, Once, <laughs> no, that's truly my favorite comments that I get sometimes are like, okay, so this is for the gays. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> well, who else would it be? <laughs> Like I've, I've been making mashups like Fifth Harmony and Ariana Grande since I was like 15. Like I, I knew this was coming. <laughs> oh my gosh, 
I like I find myself like rewinding certain moments and just like being being so immersed and which brings me to your album because I've been listening like crazy first of all like ah. Thank you. Wait, over, of, of course, you know, see, I'm a fan fan. You don't understand. This is more of like me just standing you right now because like, so when Over dropped, like I was beside myself because I was already into the mashups. I already had- Like that, wait, over like 2020, like that release? Yeah. So the first time you gave us, yeah. Yeah, I've been around oh, for a minute. minute. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like, and that's why I wanted to have this open conversation and film it because when I started, I started YouTube in 2020. So mm. I was like very like fresh and I started right at the same time when I launched like my first drag single and music video and all that. So I was like looking for things like this to hear, like just like how you said, you got started from being inspired from YouTube. It's like open conversations like this that I just feel like didn't exist. So I was like, we're mm -hmm. gonna create this, but yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I've been around since you dropped over. And I just remember, first of all, like your rollout skills, like again, like production wise, so impressed, like the way you just tease and give oh, us- Oh, thank you. <laughs> I try to, no, cause I, again, I'm a dramatic ass host. So like, I love to, you know, tease. <laughs> I love to like, even the thing is like, I obviously when it comes to my original music, I don't have nearly as big of a following with that as I do my matchups because, you know, most people follow me for that. So I'm like, okay, you 500 people, I'm going to give you teasers. I'm going to give you a little rollout, even though not many people are seeing this. It's for me. This is for my own. Yeah. You know, I do this for myself. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people don't understand like being an independent musician and even having a large following to pitch your art to, it's not, they're not always grabbing. So you have to literally. Oh have, yeah. Yeah. You have to want to do this, want to make the songs, want to write, want to put it out. And if it sits there with zero views, zero listens, like there are plenty of times where I'm like the only person listening to my song and I know it and I'm fine with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you no, know, sometimes, cause I don't know if you use it, but there's like the Spotify for artists app or whatever. And it tells you how many people are currently listening and I'll like log on and I'm like, yeah. And then it's like zero. And I'm like, okay you know they'll come eventually <laughs> they'll I've find had, it soon <laughs> i've had it be one and i'm like that was me that was definitely me yeah <laughs> no there's sometimes where it's on zero and i start listening to one of my songs to see it go up to one <laughs> i love it no but that's you can tell that you're not creating for anything but yourself like you are literally in it for the art of music you can hear that thank you that well because I, I, um, you know, along with doing the whole social media thing, I'm currently uh, a junior in college and I study music production and recording, but I also take, you know, a lot of business classes and they say like when you're an original or when you're starting off as an artist, don't release an album, don't just give them singles, create like hits so you can get your name out there. I'm like, no, I, again, dramatics, I need to make a whole project album that I can, you know, because like, that's, I, I feel like I can't show enough in one song. I want to release a whole project so you can see every little side of it. Yeah. And I'm so glad you did. Like, literally, <laughs> I'm so glad you did. <laughs> I love the album. Like I said, like when I started with Over, um, I didn't even know what to think. I was like, where are we going? What, what is this sound going to be like? Like just when you pitched it without me even hearing it. And then it came out and I was like, oh, he's going for it. Like you can actually hear that the time you put into your mashups and like the energy that you put it in the detail that you put into all different types of genres and sounds is coming out in the album like i'm going through track by track and i was like because you know if i wasn't doing an interview i'd just be listening and enjoying but because i knew i was going to talk to you i was like i'm gonna have to really i want to get into this yeah so i like was really really immersed and thank god i was because the experience of going from beginning to end and really understanding your lyrics really understanding the moments was like so enjoyable like so thank you so yeah. much no i again that's one of the things like the track list i currently right in front of me i have a whiteboard that mm -hmm. i've been like writing like I, this has been like a year, you know, over a year's worth, whoa, my voice, um, over a year's uh, worth of, you know, work and progress. And I don't, I just, I've always had the like track list. I've always like, this song has to go to this song. This song has to transition to this song. There has mm -hmm. to be a break in the middle. I have to like, you know, it has the whole story in my head, even if it really doesn't mean anything, but in my head, it means something. Um, and yeah, I love, again, that's, I'm, 
like I'll say it for the third time, I love dramatics. I love, you know, a whole adventure and experience, which is why I was like, I need an intro. I need a song. The last song needs to have a really orchestral, beautiful outro that signifies that the album's ending, like mm-hmm. all this stuff. <laughs> I'm obsessed. You did it so perfectly. I Thank like, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, I love it. And then the music video for Full Moon, obviously, ah. like, so iconic. Like, Thank the you. fire, the dramatics, the hair. Yeah. I love the main character haircut. Yes. <laughs> it's funny because, like, when you released the song, even over, I was like, oh, like, I'm loving him as an artist. And then to the point where I was like looking for things like this, like interviews, because when you go from like mashups to being an artist or anything for whatever you got more recognized for to being an artist, doing your own stuff, it's almost like people immediately want to start to get to know you a little bit more because you're, yeah. Now. So I was like, oh, like, who, who's he? Like, where, where is Over coming from? Like, where are the, like, yeah. who is Adam? So I started to look at, and that's what gave me the idea again to even do this with you. Cause I'm like, there's no like real information out there. I want to like, see like, who is he as like the artist? And you know what I mean? <laughs> no, the, I've, I've only done like, I've done like one or two interviews or podcasts in the past, but this is also kind of like sort of a first for me, especially talking about original music. So I'm just as excited as you are. I love it. I'm glad to get into it. So for the so for the album, like like literally pushing me right to my next question, like what, where, like who, who <laughs> where, where did it come from? Like I need to know. Like, <laughs> like that's such an interesting question. Where did it come from? Was it, it, came, a, was it like a boxed idea or was it something that was pieced together? Like it. Well, there. You know, when I released over, there was no plans for an album yet. Mm-hmm. Even when I released you, the second single, I wasn't really planning on an album yet. It wasn't until I was like between you and died in your arms that I was like, you know what? I've kind of always wanted to do an album and I feel like I really just want to do this. And I, I really have this passion towards it. And there's so many ideas that I, you know, want to put out there. And I also, part of me as an artist feels like, you know, it, I want to have a co- like a cohesive body of work so that like, if people don't like this single or this single, maybe they can find a song in the album that they'll like. Because I, I like to, I like to think and pride myself that at least like one song in the album will hit for someone. If you don't like any songs, you'll like at least like one. Okay. Um, because I get my main inspiration for the album was actually "Dangerous Woman" by Ariana Grande, which is Ooh. they are my wall. Okay. Um, okay. Because that album. Um, is obviously like a pop album but it's each song is a different sound like every song sounds so different from one another which is why i you know when making this i was like okay i wanted you know pop is my thing but i want each song to sound so different from every other one which i think i did i'd like maybe full moon and over kind of sound a little like have a little similar vibe but otherwise i feel like each song is just a completely different experience even any like tie-ins like that, if anything, just make the album more cohesive. Like if yeah. you know, anything that sounds the same, but no, you're right. For the most part, I'm looking at the track list right now too. And I'm remembering what I felt for, I'm very empathic towards music and that's why I'm able to have. Like, Yay, yeah. I love that. So I'm looking at the track list and I remember what I felt for each song and different feelings for different vibes. So no, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, starting with the intro, like obsessed. First of all, like some of the greatest albums in the world have intros. And I always like, I would, you know, when my most favorite artist releases like an album and there's not an intro, I'm like, what are you doing? Like you have the opportunity. I'm like, so you're just going to jump into this. Yeah, like, like we know we need to get into it somehow. Right. I'm just asking for a 30 second something, something. And no, you gave it, it gave that like ethereal opening and it leads perfectly into over. So I appreciate hey, you doing you. the intro. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and then I, and then over and you obviously are amazing, but I knew those cause those were out. Mm-hmm. So, yes. which brings me to, <laughs> I could probably do a whole interview on high demand because from what I knew of you, or from what I thought I knew of you, High Demand is not the Adam I thought I was watching all these years, <laughs> which is fine. Let me tell you right now, I am, I'm for, like I said, I'm a drag musician and all my songs are very much like High Demand, but yeah, I don't see it as coming from any place, but 
being confident and, and owning who you are. That's, how, that's all I saw, but it was still shocking for you. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, well, I, <laughs> I knew this one, I was so excited. I think it's one of the best songs on the album for me personally, but I was also terrified because I'm like, this is a different thing for yeah. me. This is like a different level of confidence that I, never exuded before and I yeah I wrote it with um two of my good friends and I I had the produ- I made this instrumental back in you know like 2019 it was pretty old but I was like I need to do something with this because yeah. you know it, it hits like these violins kind of are everything and um dance break. <laughs> yeah I, I didn't have the dance break until I wrote it but um I basically brought it to them. I'm like, so I want to call it high demand. I knew high demand was going to be the title because I love that concept of, you know, like, I don't know. I know like a few people have written songs called high demand, but like, I feel like it's a really fun concept to sing about. And I was like, I want to be everything in this song that I'm usually not like, (laughs) I am not this confident of a person. I'm not this like, Ooh, look at me. Look how good I am. Like I, I I just don't like being that person so I was like let me do everything let me do the most let me have my seven rings moment and then oh, just yeah. like then scooch away and be like actually I'm awful the re- <laughs> for the rest of the songs I'm like I hate myself that's fine but one song that I can like love myself no I, I love that like I you can see your heart through the camera through your videos and you know when we see you so I think that whoever is listening already knows like this isn't you like this is an artist having fun but at the same time if Adam's out and you needed to get into this mode I feel like you could (laughs) well no okay you know four drinks in at the club I would be this person so like yes I kind of want to see him I'm not gonna lie like (laughs) he he is something I you know don't know much about him but he's (laughs) only because that's that's like that moment where you it's not even like I said it's never about like you know being over the top or being bossy or or bitchy or any of those things it's just about like owning like a a place of confidence like I write songs Mm -hmm. like that all the time and people are always like oh that's too much or that's too this but I come from a place where I didn't feel like confident in my own skin until a couple years ago so that comes out in my music and I'm just now feeling sexy just now feeling bossy then I'm writing Mm -hmm. about it like yeah no (laughs) I feel the same way I always like I kind of am now entering a point in my life where I do feel very secure in myself and I you know am loving myself more yeah I can so see I that. was you know it was it was really fun to you know just be like I am that bitch and you all will know that and yeah that's it that's I it I love it I love it I one of my like probably my favorite song uh next to a former yes. on yeah. I would I would die if I could do a music video to high demand because I think it would be everything and but I what I've been telling my friends is that like I can only do a music video to high demand though if it can be high budget because we can't have this low budget like rough quality (laughs) video to a song that's called high demand like you can't do that you can't have that so you know you know people if people stream it and it gets big then maybe I'll have the fun so we'll see (laughs) Right. Dream high demand, y'all. I want Dream high demand, y'all. Please. For me. <laughs> I could no, I could see that catching on to people. Like, keep on playing with that. Like, I know you're you're a great creator as far as diversifying your content through all of social media. So I would Thank keep you. on getting that out on um on TikTok. Oh, yeah, I actually one of my main like promotional techniques for the song is I'm gonna be putting a bunch of different female rappers on the song mm-hmm. and hoping that, you know, at some point one of those hits the right people yes um and then you know hoping we can go from there but yeah I'm really um I actually because at first you know when you release music I you can probably relate to this a lot because you've released music but um a lot of times as an artist you have really high expectations from right when it's released and you're like oh right when it's released it's gonna do this well and it's gonna you know and sometimes it kind of hurts when it doesn't but you also have to realize like oh now that's out now I have to do the work to get people to hear it it's not just gonna people aren't just gonna listen to it themselves you have to take all the steps and do all the things to you know get it out there and now that you know I spent literally over a year on this project I'm like okay I can take a break and just work on like getting this out there for the year like I can hold off on making new stuff for a while and just do this (laughs) 
which like like you do beautifully like I said there's you're such a well-rounded creator in that and it all seems so like effortless that you're able to just get everything out and there's like a version for it on every social media content and some people they some people may say too much some people may say over the top but you and I like we said just we know that there's no other way to be seen like yeah that, that's no. it that's the name of the game no. no matter where you come from like yeah it's just like actually I'm actually really surprised because yeah high demand was a song that I was like I hope people like this one like this is <laughs> I I, feel, I have a feeling people might just be like this is too much no one's actually told me it's too much for most people it's their favorite song so I, I I'll be like hell yeah that I'll yeah. take that and that's, that's perfect. the funny thing, like you, when you write something over the top or crazy like that, you like you're like nervous to put it out. But again, like you would be surprised how many people want to feel like that. So it's not yeah. necessarily about like, oh, I'm the best, I'm this, I'm that, and like you know, it's about like, can I feel a little bit like this? Like, can I, you know, yeah. just the vibes of it make you feel important? And people need that, like, period, like, period. That's just, that's just <laughs> it. That's just it. <laughs> And then for, so for Starlight, I literally put in my notes, the ending changed my life. Then, <gasps> like, like I you. just want to be like a fly on the wall when you write and produce, because I don't know who's thinking of these instruments and tweaking them and changing them. But in, in, in essence and in general, the engineering on this album <sighs> is phenomenal and thank you something I can appreciate because I suck at it so bad I have to have my thing sent out and I need all this help and whatever so when I hear something sounds so like crisp and and it's like it's so much beyond like what's written in the vocals it's like I can hear that the like the whoever's mastering with you or whoever's producing with you like there's work put into this whole thing and starlight I feel like is the essence of all of that like the end of starlight (laughs) oh my god little Oh my God, I'm blushing so much. This is, thank you. That really truly means a lot because most of it's done in house. Like I, you know, I produced, besides two songs, I produced, mainly produced every song and I mixed half the songs myself. And, you know, Starlight was very fun. I, um, that was a collaboration with my friend Logan and we kind of, I knew we wanted to work on a song together and we just kind of, you know, sat in the room and we pulled up this like synth patch on just um you know on our computer and he just like went boop, 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 boop. and I was like hold on what is that what is that <laughs> and we we kind of got like you know the main structure and then we got to the end and I knew because I kind of already had the base of full moon it wasn't really fully fledged out but I was like oh my god so we have the song so starlight full moon starlight full moon you both have the same you know like astrology like kind of vibe and I was like what if the song transitions into full moon because you know starlight kind of shows the bliss and like you know all the good vibes of a relationship in full moon is just like the catastrophic downfall so I was like I feel like you know having this crazy dramatic twist would be really fun and that making that outro part was really fun because he like my friend Logan would like go and play something and I'd be like hold on then I would take his seat and then I would add something and then he would come back and add something and then I would go back and add something we just kept going back and forth until we got it and then yeah and then at the end I was like what if we then detuned it so then it goes to the key of full moon yeah it was just really fun it was a really cool creative process to be a part of I can I can tell I, I could I feel that moment and I'm like I could feel like it was like surgically worked on by like many hands like and I, I could not get to the next songs I kept like rewinding and just like I love to do that <laughs> and I'm like I'm never gonna get to this next song because I just want to be in this moment like forever yeah. <laughs> but I did get to full moon and obviously loved it I, I actually like I exited my listening and I went to, to watch the video which you look gorgeous and everything thank you flawless thank you, thank in that you your videos continue to elevate right along with your music so thank you that's the goal I want them to keep getting better because you know started from you know just a a fun little cute shoot on the beach and now we're like getting to like a production yeah and and even like at production level you still find a way to keep things simple like I love just the background the fire the lights like very just like you know like boxed moments like I live for Mm -hmm. that you don't need much because like you're enough like you're like you're you're a star thank you thank you 
Uh, okay, so like Lovesick, Remedy, and Died in Your Arms, again, like on repeat, like those were out. I had those too, right? Because I feel like I know those two for so long. Yeah, Lovesick came out um, on New Year's. Uh, that was the little pre-release single. I wrote Lovesick um, with the same people I wrote High Demand with. Oh, dope. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. And then what about If Only? Is that all you two or? That, that is basically all me. My, um, my roommate actually added a, a little percussion elements to that. But yeah, I had most of, I had like the idea and it was like a month before the album was supposed to come out. And I was like, this song is not done. I, this song is not recorded and I need to record it now. <laughs> so I, it was like January 4th and I was like scrambling and recording vocals and then mixing it and doing everything. But yeah, that, um, that song was basically all me. Yeah, so that was, that was fun. perfectly placed on the album. Thank you. Yeah, perfectly yeah. placed. And then I originally didn't have, um, there was a long time. Well, when I first showed my family, I showed my family the album and I didn't even have that song yet. So it just went from died in your arms to main character. I was like, there needs to be a branch because there's wow. the vibe is just, you can't go from like died in your arms. It just, just doesn't yeah, work. There yeah, needs to be yeah. something there. So I wanted to like kind of make a short little, like, you know, not interlude, but just something that kind of a transitions. Bridge. A bridge between a bridge. two big ass songs. <laughs> to like two pretty emotional songs. Right, exactly. And it's funny because like I, we have a lot of the same like taste of music and, you know, and, and like the pop world and all that. And I can tell like you have such an understanding of like what a album is and what it sounds like from Thank beginning you. to end. Or at least like what what we were raised on or what we yeah. learned, you know what I mean? Like there are just certain elements and certain flows and what I like and what I expect in the album in an album is, is the same thing you want and what you have. So I live, I just live for like the way that it's structured. Like when I thank you. It. Yeah, it's perfect. I really pride myself in the structure of the album and the I can tell. It. I, it's, it's, that's why I'm giving you your props on it. I'm like, you have thought about this. Like this was not just a cluster of songs. Yeah, all. no, I'm not throwing this shit together. This shit is perfectly like yeah. <laughs> And I've said, I've said this before and I was talking to another artist, but that's why I love talking to independent artists and, and listening to independent I've gotten to the point where like, I seek them out. I seek out independent artists and albums because you don't get this, like this passion with a mainstream gone. Like it's yeah. they do what they do, they have their management. It is what it is, but you don't get this like attention to detail that someone who's yeah. making it, you know? That I, um, you know, I, you know, one of my, dr the dream is kind of, you know, to get signed to a label and, you know, become a pretty, you know, you know, become an artist. Yeah. Uh, that's, you know, pretty, I don't want to become like a big, big one, but just like, <laughs> you know, a decently sized artist. That's kind of the dream. Yeah. But I do think that like, wow, it would, you know, not to have this creative control would be a little, I don't know how I would feel about it because I, you know, I put, I could release any song I want. I can, you know, put out any song I want. I can direct my video. I can do whatever I want with the video. I can put it out whenever I want. I can do my own, you know, I like do everything myself. Like I edited the music video. I, you know, like edit all of my promo stuff, like everything myself, yeah. which granted it would be nice to have help with that, <laughs> but um, it would, it would be interesting to kind of give that creative control over and, you know, have a label say like, no, you can't release that. That's not, a, a good song for you and I'm like wait a second <laughs> hold on you're like have you been studying music and doing mashups for this many amount of years I was like <laughs> do you, um you are not me you can't tell me um so we'll see you know yeah, that's still the goal be, that's a tricky that's situation cool. because you have like I, like you you have such an understanding that other people your age do not have of music so it wouldn't be out of the question for someone older or someone in management to say okay you're gonna do x y and z and I could see you being there like I'd like to explain no. like I do know something you know <laughs> yeah I was like uh I don't know about that Ooh. yeah so well let's hope that it, when that day comes you can find a healthy balance of yes. being Adam and getting that coin and being part of and get, it. Yeah, <laughs> no, and being marketable and being a pop star and whatever. You know, right, right. The things. It's, it's possible, it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, main character. It's, it's took my breath away. I literally wrote down the line, you'll live your life like there's nothing left to lose. You'll be true to yourself and you'll love who you choose you fulfill the one dream you were dying to do. Period, like what? 
Wow. What? I literally was Another crying. moment where I had to just, I had to keep her, I'm like getting like emotional right now, just thinking about when I first heard it and I kept rewinding because who does not need to hear that? Like, I, yeah, I, um, I, when I first started writing that song, I literally just started sobbing. I was like, oh my God, I wish I could tell myself all these things when I was a kid. And I, you know, it was kind of a thank you for getting through the shit so I could be who I am now. And like, thank you for not giving up. That's what the whole like last bit is like, thank you for not giving up on us, especially thank you for not giving up on me. Like, um, yeah, it was a very emotional one. I, when I first showed my boyfriend the um, album, he was like, that's going to resonate with like a lot of people. I was like, yeah. I have my favorite songs, but that's my favorite moment on the album. Thank that. you. And kind of realizing that at one point you were not this full together. You were not this confident. You were not okay with what was going on in your heart. Like, but the fact that you were vulnerable enough to make that a lyric and show people that you went from that to where you are today, like it's so necessary. Cause a lot of times, even like, especially for where you're at, like as, being as high up where you are as a YouTuber and everything, people have this, the stereotype that everything is a-okay and it's always been okay and it's always gonna be okay. So it's almost up to you as an artist, as a creator to, to put this vulnerability out and let people know, like, this is where I was, this is where I'm going. And I felt that in that moment. I love that. Thank moment. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, it is truly one of my favorite moments too. And yeah, it was, it was really nice to, now I've had a, oh, there's something on that. Um, I had a few people who listened to the album and told me like, it's great to finally hear like you and like hear what's going on with you. Because, you know, a lot of my, Over was a bit um, personal, but you know, you and Die In Your Arms are pretty, you know, they're pretty safe when it comes to lyrical content. And I was excited to, you know, really kind of, even though it was just like a little dip into it, I yeah. was at least, I was excited to at least let people in on a little bit because, ooh, it is not, it is not as perfect as I post. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Look, I, I'm right there with you as a creator and I'm, I'm constantly like, I have a death happen, I turn on that camera and I let them know. I have a breakup happen, I turn on that camera. I, I've gotten to the point where it seems like, oh, she's uploading everything, like, is she okay? But it gets to the point where I'm like, I have to let y'all know like what's happening in between the music videos, what's happening in between like my fun vlogs when I'm out with my friends, like there's life there. And if I don't, if I don't show that, then they're always just gonna think I'm the same note. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I live for that vulnerability and I know it's not easy. And that's why like, I'm thanking you for it because you easily, you can like, you can just write like a bop and be done with it and not show any emotion, but you chose to dig into something deep and you're a little bit young, but as you get older, you're, 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 you're going to start to realize that this content that you create and the art that you make, it's so much like more for who comes after us and making sure they hear it and that they're inspired and that they feel like they can do it. And I feel like the main character song really wraps together like the title of the album. And it made me feel like really proud of you because you chose to like zoom in on being a main character from a different perspective. A lot of times people think main character, hero, sword, whatnot. I saw this as you have become the main character, but the main character, like their story, their goal, their journey is just loving themselves and being okay with who they are. And that alone, you reaching that, you decided to be okay. Am I, am I right? Like <laughs> yeah, I love that comment so much. That, yeah, that's what that I means felt. More, when I, for, um, you know, before the album came out, I was showing it to a few friends. And one of my friends was like, I am, after main character, he was like, I am really happy that this is the title track because, you know, when when people you know say main character it's more it's kind of in like a high demand sort of way where it's like I'm the main character like I am you know living my best life I'm in the moment like everything I was like I want to write a song that's like you know telling people not not myself well technically it is about myself but um you know telling people that they can be yeah the main character I, I caught that immediately corny, but yeah. no it's not I caught that immediately and honestly like I went through his, I'm so, I'm very, like I said, I'm very empathic. And it took me on a spiritual journey of trying to figure out, am I okay with the main character that I am? 
So it really like got me thinking because you, I listened to the song and I looked at the album completely like from, from afar and I'm like, wow, like he's come so far and this is who he is and, like, and he's okay with it. Like, am I okay with where I'm at with my main characteristics right now? Mm-hmm. So it got me thinking and I love that. Like who does, I love that it took me there and got me in my head, you know? <laughs> That's, you know, as I want people to, you know, think about, you know, how this song, you know, relates to themselves. So that's great. It was beautiful. I'm, I'm probably when I get done this, I'm going to go through the experience again, just because it's so like, it's amazing. Yay. But, and then <laughs> home, like, what better title? Because it literally feels like home and the ending of home and that note and mm-hmm. all of that is so good. Like it just completely, and it's Thank so funny you. because it ends on such a melodic, relaxing tone that you're ready to get back into the intro. Like you're almost yeah. you a repeat of the whole album because you feel like you've heard a whole story, you know? Yeah, that is um, the first time I listened to the album in full and then heard it repeat and go back to the beginning. I was like, oh, interesting. Yeah, because yeah. you end on this like really kind of like heavenly, like airy note and then you get like dropped down to hell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get like, it's like a literal like a 720 yeah. twists down into a, a um back into the story and yeah I feel like the whole thing is kind of just a building up and building up and building up yes yeah and then by the time you're done you're like I'm ready to go again like <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah like amazing album I'm so so proud thank of you, you. Yeah. thank you so much you smashed it I I'll be listening forever I'm so excited for mm-hmm. everything else that is to come for you <laughs> thank you so much same i'm excited for what's next too <laughs> <laughs> and i guess i'll wrap this up by asking like because i know so many people um will watch this video who are like up and coming creators musicians um youtubers what would you say to kind of like the brand new like fresh 15 year you know 15 year old kid who wants to start music who wants to start youtube like what type of advice would you give coming from the journey that you've had don't do it for anyone else uh that's the biggest thing um obviously you know when you were trying if like if you want to become a big creator do it because you like what you're creating and not just because you want to become a big creator um because yeah eventually you get you have to kind of find the balance between what you love to do and what you need to do for the algorithm and it can be like a whole thing but especially with you know how my journey went and especially with music I needed to do it for myself and not you know had to kind of you know go through some people telling me that like what are you doing why are you doing this like this doesn't sound good you can't do x y and z and if you aren't doing it for yourself then that will really break you down and you won't be able to really keep going with it yeah and you know having that having that centeredness in yourself and um you know really people notice the passion people you know can tell when you are really putting everything into it so that's my biggest advice i guess i love it thank you so so much and thank you for joining me this has been like iconic um thank you (laughs) this is is so much fun i love this honestly you know if i didn't have things to do i would be on here for two more hours but (laughs) i look i have two hours more worth of questions so if you ever (laughs) want to do a follow-up interview or if you have a future single or whatever i will dissect the crap out of whatever you put out and we could do this all over again (laughs) i would love that just (laughs) hit me up you have my instagram (laughs) okay yeah definitely um so let everyone know where they can follow you where they can stream main character the most iconic album ever where is it (laughs) thank you um so my handle on instagram is at adam music underscore with one m um my youtube is adam music my twitter is data music underscore um because my original one got terminated for copyright which you know we love that i know the game i know the game copyright is the death of me (laughs) and uh you can stream main character on any streaming platform of your choice but you know it's uh mainly on spotify and apple music main character adam wright i hope you enjoy it (laughs) And you will. And guys, I'm actually going to throw his Spotify link and YouTube channel down in the description box of this video. So please make sure you go 
Go subscribe to him. Get you some mashups. Get you some original music. Like you're like I'm telling you. Like if you have not been exposed to his channel, you're about to get your life, and I'm very excited for you. So please. Go give them a subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with any creators that you feel like might be looking for some inspiration. And don't forget to subscribe to my main variety channel under Yay. Nigel Battle, and as well as this channel for more coaching branding content. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Woo.